Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Software Inc. Season 2. Man. Wow. Incredible. Amazing. Fantastic. I have no idea why I'm saying all these different adjectives, but they all very much coincide with this game right now with you guys. I am, again, absolutely enjoying this. Uh, it has been an interesting couple days on uh, YouTube here. Uh, the, we've had some really funny things happening with uh, how the videos are actually getting released, um, notifications, even on some of the other people that I follow. So I'm hoping you guys are getting notified of things. Uh, if not, it, one of the things I am going to be looking to do here uh, very soon is actually starting up uh, probably a Twitter handle um, that I can actually send out some notifications when videos release as well. So you guys are aware of them that way as well. Um, just to make sure that when these uh, push notifications and stuff like that happen, uh, there have been some issues with them and I want to make sure you guys are first to know even if YouTube is having issues. So I definitely uh, want to get that out to you. As soon as I have that ready for you guys, I will absolutely tell you guys about it. I'll put a little something on the screen as we're doing one of the videos and things like that. We'll do a nice little announcement of some new ways to engage and interact with each other. So excellent. What are we going to get into today on this wonderful day? in the tundra of vapor incorporated anyway so yeah we're in the middle of porting uh shadow killer over to a series of other operating systems i'm actually kind of worried because it's not going super quick that we may actually have an issue with uh, revenue uh, it might spike back up we're going to see some different um upticks and downticks when it comes to that so as we get to operating systems that may potentially have a bigger uptick of users and things like that we'll see our revenue kind of bounce a little bit from that uh, we are getting super close uh, to this getting promoted here I want to say we just did a review of it we we're December September we did one and we were at six so we're getting pretty close look audio is screaming people are super happy with the audio we got to get the art up so let's we'll get we'll work on getting that art up there we'll get that moved over this will most likely go into the beta phase this episode and then we'll kick off the development of vapor os3 so we get that moving as well uh, but we did hire a support team uh, they're actually out for training right now so um, i know i mentioned in the last video that we're going to get them trained up and then we'll actually split them off into their own team for support so that we have uh, a team dedicated to handling things like the support up here with our 8,000 users of Shadow Killer. They can focus on that while the rest of the team can focus on the next bit of development. So that is always a good thing there. Let's get things moving just so they're moving along. We're going to take a quick look at the teams here. Let's see how people are doing. Uh, so these are some of the new folks here. Where are we at? We're in class for another day and another day. In class, in class, in class. Now see, I actually don't mind this at all. Goodness gracious, did we pay them a ton? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I was comparing them to a marketer or an artist. Oh, I was thinking we paid double them from the other ones, but no, we're actually doing good. Pretty much in line. So we might see that initial, like, you know, I want 200 more dollars at the end of next year and you know what we'll end up giving it to them i don't mind doing it so let's see. there we go let's get a little bit of background audio in this too so they are all in class right now that should be super helpful uh, to get their skills up i really wish that one thing that it doesn't tell you in here is what they went to school for so i'm really hoping the developers throw that in here in the game i think that'd just be super helpful to go oh they're being trained on 2d and audio or are they just in 2D right now? Because um, the way the project, the HR management is set up is that you can send them to multiple classes at a time. So, or I don't know if that's just multiple people. I'd have to go back and look at the team again. Um, but excellent, they are all in training. They're gonna be coming back in a day. And we may, we'll have to see where everyone's at from a skill set perspective. We might split the team sooner rather than later. Oh, look at that, nice uptick in cash. Very good. Oh, we haven't had to pay uh, salaries yet this month either. That'll happen at the end of the month. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, we had a whole bunch of hiring here. That's where the initial education hits. To 
distribution is good. We had a little bit of a loss that month, but we'll be okay. Okay, so let's see, Core is working on that. <laughs> Core is another team that we are actually going to need to expand here soon as well. Because I don't think we ex No, they're at 11. They have a bunch of programmers as well. Are any of them in training right now? Um, it does not look like it. Matsi. Matsi needs networking. Matsi needs design in 3D. Whew. Yeah, Matsi's one of those that we're going to have to get all of his roles up to um, full bore because he's going to be set on any any role, so he'll help out anywhere that they need. And we'll definitely want to make sure that uh, Matsi being on the team is not hurting that group. So one of those things we'll gradually keep throwing uh, Matsi out there for some training every once in a while. Um, yeah, keep Anne on programming. Uh, Anne could use a little bit of work in networking, I think, for about a month. But... Uh, Sammy and Mr. E. Mr. E, calling in sick. Let's start wondering. We might have to uh, find out a little bit about Mr. E over here. Um, hmm. Make sure everything's okay with them. Just do a nice little double check. So it looks like people are back. They really like working down here. Um, oh, we talked about this before. We do not have a meeting room uh, for them. So let's do a quick spin. Dark Ops, you're going to get a bit of an upgrade. You are, you are. We're going to put a nice little meeting room over here. And my apologies for bouncing around like that. Uh, oh, we're going to have to buy some more land. Nope. Oh. Whoops. Oh. Oopsie. I bought more land. <laughs> so. That's going to show a little negative on our uh, chart up there, but we'll be, I think we'll be okay. Because <laughs> with you guys on the team, I'm positive we'll be okay. You guys are awesome. So how do we want to do this? Do we want to do... Actually, I'm wondering if we want to do something like this. The wall come out. Come down. Back over. Almost like an airlock. You know what I mean? I think it's something like an airlock. And what do we have here real quick? Okay, door frame is gonna go here. Bing. Just like that. Oh, was that the open casing? Or is that an actual that is an actual door? Good. Okay, I wanted that to be an actual door. And then we're going to open up to a really nice meeting room. Similar octagonal, I want to say. So let's, I got to verify this angle again real quick. It is four across 135, 4.2. I remember that now. Okay. Oh, you know what we should have done? I wonder if we can. And destroy room. Say yes. Haha. <laughs> okay. Can we make from here? Can we go out? I wanted something to be four wide. Oh. <laughs> Tell me if you guys like that. I, I kind of wanted to be something that kind of funnels people out into the conference room. Um, let's go from the other side here real quick. Oh, it's already there. Oops. Duh. This will need to go actually over here. And we will do actually a double door right there. <laughs> um, yes. Let me know if you guys like that, if that's a little too um, potentially obnoxious or weird. But... Um, I'm kind of liking it personally. So we will see. Apply style. Is that the right one? I know I did the wrong one at one point. I did two different versions. Nope, that's the one I want. Bottom one. And it's got the red walls. So all of our 
decor matches. Cool. Let's finish this out. We're going to go at an angle, 4 point, oh. There we go. Down 4, angle 135, 4.2, 4, 135, 4.2, 4, 4.2, 4. 4. go straight across. That finishes the room out. We'll quickly decorate it. Boop. Okay, we'll throw some lights in. I really wish it would have copied lights and things like that too. Um, actually, you know what? We're not going to do those lights. We are going to do these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. I think we're going to give a really nice glass table. Okay, let's zoom this in a bit so we can see. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three, four. I feel like that's still off by like one side. It is. Remove that out one. We'll duplicate this. Put you there. That's better. Okay. Nice office chairs real quick. Bing, bing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to put anybody on the inside, but that should give people plenty of space. Let's mark this room for uh, dark ops only. And the room usage is going to be meetings. This will be a dedicated meeting space, which means we can turn this room here into a canteen. Because now it will officially be a canteen. This is where they're going to come and eat. Um, what we will do as well in here is we're going to duplicate this, put an extra set of tables and chairs for people to come eat. I love it. Okay. I think we're uh, pretty set initially here. We are going to put one light in here in the middle, light that hallway up so that no one hurts themselves. Um, it seems like that. Oh. Yeah, I think I went too far out on this side. It's a little uneven. But let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I mean, it's technically looks even to this four block wall, but that should really be like pivoted over here just a tiny bit. Then we'd have to move the elevator. I don't know. Let me know. If you guys want me to move it or fix it or you don't like the way it looks or we would just need to straighten it up a bit more, let me know. We'll see if we can work something in, in for it. But there is the official meeting room of the Dark Ops team. And let's do... Pictures on the wall. Definitely got to make sure the decor is good. One, two, three, one. We're going to have to turn this so I can actually see. Um, okay, let's go this way. One, two. Is everyone enjoying counting with me? One, two, three. One, two, three. Did I already put ones on? I, I put, wow, right behind the light. That's kind of goober. One, two, we will get rid of this one. Yep, bye-bye. Okay, so that should make this room super, super nice. It is also really cold. Goodness gracious. We're gonna have to put one nice little heater like that with a vent right there. That should warm that room up nice and toasty. Put one here and there. That way they don't have one cold hallway that they go, it's so cold. They'll get all upset at me. Anyway, so there we go. Meeting room is done. Let's zoom back out just a tiny bit. So look at this team. It is just, <laughs> okay. I didn't realize this but I just made a guy. 
He's got really big feet. <laughs> There's his head, his arms, and his body. <laughs> um, wow. Um, well, hey, it, it is what it is. And technically, the meetings would be where the brains and things get all the decisions are made. So that's it's actually, I don't know. I actually kind of find that pretty funny. <laughs> So any anyway, um, something to kind of just chuckle out a little bit there. I just noticed when I spun the thing around and went, oh, how about that? Or if you flip it around this way, it could even potentially be the beginning of a face. It could be their eyes, a nose, good old mustache, and the mouth. So I don't know. You guys let me know. Which one do you think it is? Do you think it's a person? Flip this way. Or do you think it is the beginning of a face turned the other direction? So I'd love to hear your comments in this video. I would, I'm really curious to see what you guys think. So anyway, well, that is done. So we have a nice little meeting room. That should get everybody taken care of there. Canteen is nice and set. Man, that is a really nice meeting room, actually. <laughs> Very cool. Anyway. So things are moving along. Revenue's coming in. We spent a bunch of money. Um, <laughs> we're definitely going to be in the red on this month, but I'm not. I'm really not worried about it. We still have three million in the bank. We have more applications coming out. We have bugs being taken care of. Porting's being done. Let's take a look at a quick review. Hey, hey, seven three. We're doing nice. Okay. I'm thinking when we hit eight, let's release, uh, let's actually bump the cloud box up to uh, beta, get that moving along. Um, I wasn't planning on uh, the doing that develop uh, the building down in the dark ops team right there actually. So uh, we may not actually get to the beta on this one quite yet, but we will see. I am have faith in our team. I'm positive they can do excellent work uh, let's take a look at the team we have research again hey hey and yeah we don't really have the team built out to do research this time so I'm not overly worried about it we can always buy the companies when we do really well that own those patents and then we'll own them so eh, another way of doing it so um one of those other things, I know I said in the last video uh, as well, let me know what your thoughts are, what you'd like to see happen with uh, this building over here. Uh, should we expand it and take out these trees, get it a little bit closer to our Dark Ops uh, entrance area? Or should we leave it and then just build across the top and add another square building over here and see what we want to do? These could just be left as placeholders. Let me know if you guys don't really want anything put in there quite yet. Uh, that is perfectly fine. I am okay with that. So, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yes. There's ten up there. How many do we have down here? Make sure we have good desk layout here. Uh, six there, right? I don't think we have anything on the back wall. For, correct? we do not so there's 16 available for the core team 16 seats which we're only at 11 we could hire five more people what does our breakdown look like for core uh, let's we are very heavy on Wow no wonder we're not doing great on art Wow why did I not realize this Matsi's the only artist did I forget to hire artists last time? I must have. Well, we're gonna have to change that. Artists, 2D will specialize in. Let's go a little higher, 2000. We're gonna spend some cash. I think we're gonna hire probably like four artists. Wow, I can't get over that. I did not realize I hired no artists. Um, great compatibility. Young is what I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, I'll look at that. Maxwell, 51. Ruth, 
Excellent. Let's do that. So, Ruth, welcome to the team. Maxwell, welcome to the team. We're going to look again. They look great. Ooh, Monica. Oh, Christy. Rocking it right there. 75% and great compatibility. And you're 20. You're a young gun. It's done really good in school. Excellent. So, yep, we'll pick you up. That's three. I think we can do one more technically. We have a nice, good, strong team of uh, four artists. We have two designers. We got a bunch of programmers and a guy that does a little bit of everything. But then again, welcome to being CEO of a starting company. So, here we go. Let's look one more time. See if we can find that one last good person. Uh, let's see. Great, great, great. Uh, I'm not, not seeing anything. Good compatibility. Uh, we're going to look again. Oh, there you go. Debbie Payne, 58%. Loving it. Welcome to the team. Okay, let's take a look at the employees. Uh, Ruth, Maxwell, yep, there we go. These four, they are going to be artists. Because that is what we hired them for. Excellent. Just fantastic and excellent. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do up here, possibly. Um, other than the fact that it's not accessible. There's no way of getting... Oh, and I have a double door here. And really, it's going to need to be an elevator. So we'll need to delete this. Say yes. We will put an elevator in right quick here, fast in a hurry. Where did you go, elevator? No, that's a fridge. <laughs> Why can't they get up there? Because I put a refrigerator there, smart guy. Am I seriously looking at this and not seeing it? Oh, duh. Wrong screen. There we go. I'm actually going to turn this into a meeting room. So this right here, I think we are gonna make into a meeting room. So we're gonna block this off real quick. Boop. Yeah, we could do. I wonder if we could do something like that. No, that's really that's just silly. Go like that. Yep, I know. We're gonna do nice glass doors in the center. Right like that. That should be center. Uh, it's five, so that's definitely not center. Half it. There we go. Dismantle. Double glass. Three on each side. Yep. There's the center. Beautiful. There's some lights in. Good old wall lamps. This sounds familiar, doesn't it? Okay. Is that right in that corner? That is right in that corner. I did good. Excellent. Okay. Good old nice spin there that I did. We're gonna go. So wait, if I turn this, I wanna make sure that I can actually fit one, two, three. Oh beautiful. No! Just click. Move. There. Duplicate. This It really doesn't matter what direction because as soon as you put the chairs it really determines where that's going to be. There are chairs all around. Excellent. We will mark this room as a meeting room. Limit room usage, meetings. It'll also be limited to the core team only. Because so I want to make sure that Dark Ops doesn't get the idea of, oh wait, there's a meeting room open. Let's go three floors up in another building that they're not supposed to be in. Excellent. Okay. 
So with that being said, guys, I think we're going to wrap the video up here. Um, yeah, I know you're not very skilled. It'll be okay. Um, we're going to wrap the video up here. I, uh, good spot to stop. Uh, we actually did some pretty nice things. Uh, I've got a couple questions out there for you guys. I'd love to hear your feedback on down here. Is it a person or if you flip it over, is it a guy's face with a mustache? So let me know. Um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are there. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I, I hope that you guys can hit that like button. It helps me huge with the analytics. If you're new to the channel, I will welcome you. It's always great to have new people viewing the content and engaging in the comments. Uh, if you are so inclined to, if you can hit that subscribe button, that helps the channel huge. When you do, make sure you hit that bell icon, change it to all. And that way you get notified when any new video or series comes out on the channel. And with that, we thank you and we will see you in the next video.